According to scholars and specialists, the Gospel of Mark is the oldest uh, gospel in our New Testament. And in this first stories of Jesus, uh, there seem to be two versions, and the oldest version of it, the oldest uh, manuscript that uh, were found, finish with the story of the women going to Jesus' tomb on first Easter morning. And what we read is that they're discovering that the tomb is empty. They don't see Jesus, just an angel, and they're afraid. And they say nothing to anyone. And we have to admit, this feels somehow anticlimactic. It's it's not a happy end we like to have, especially in our days. I'm sure you have this experience. You watch a TV show and you're really into it, and the series ends, and there's no resolution. There's no happy ending. It just ends, and sometimes it leaves us frustrated. That we want to know what will happen to this character or that character. Maybe this is why the other following gospel um, have this happy ending, the, uh, the risen Christ meet with disciples and send them to the world and so on. Maybe it feels, Mark feels anticlimactic, or maybe we miss the point. Uh, we tend to overlook the message, the angelic messenger, is giving to the women. He's affirming Jesus' resurrection. He says he has been risen. He's not here anymore. But that's the maybe the important point here. He is not here anymore. He is going ahead of you to Galilee. And there you will see him, just as he told you. In Mark, Jesus don't stay around the tomb, waiting, pondering about what happened, expecting someone to show up so he can explain it to someone. No, Jesus has something better to do, something more important to do. There's a risen Christ does not stay at the tomb all by himself or just with some of his friends. He goes where the people are. And that's a challenge for us Christian today. On Easter morning, we like to celebrate in our church with our family and our friends. We maybe have our best clothes, new clothing. We come, big procession. We sing beautiful hallelujahs. And we do it all by ourselves, all for ourselves somehow. But Easter, resurrection, Yes, is important, but somehow for Mark, it finds its full meaning in the world, with the rest of the world. It finds its new and full meaning when we find the presence of risen Christ everywhere we go. When we bring the message of the risen Christ everywhere we go. When we live the message Jesus gave us everywhere we go every day. The ending of the gospel according to Mark may not be disappointing as much a challenge for all. Are we going to be stick at the empty tomb wondering about what happened and be puzzle and stay there and, and look at their navel? Or are we going to follow the invitation and discover the risen Christ wherever we go with everyone we meet? The invitation has been made for all of us. And the answer is ours. Where do we want to stand? Where do we want to go? I hope you will have a wonderful Easter and another day after it and another day after it even better as you will feel and live the experience of the risen Christ. 
until the next time uh, we see each other, take care of yourself. I remain Reverend Stéphane Vermette, the lectionary man, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.